Okay, good morning everybody and welcome. My name's Andy. I'm from Lux Power Tech. So everybody that's here, are you guys familiar with our brand? Has everybody done installations on our brand? Yes? No, anybody that hasn't done an installation yet? Not yet? <laughs> Not yet? Not yet? Okay, so now I know what, uh, how to engage with everybody. So Luxpower is a international company. We're headquartered in China, like everybody else is in the inverter uh, industry. Um, other than obviously the names like Victron and uh, people like that, but we we headquartered in Shenzhen. Um, Luxpower is a research and development company, um, essentially. So if you measure us up against the likes of Daya uh, and uh, you know who are listed companies, we are probably. 15 or 20 percent the size of them. Uh, Hana is a battery brand specifically. Hana is owned by Luxpower, 100 percent owned by Luxpower. It's an independent company, but 100 percent owned by Luxpower. They operate in a different city altogether. Uh, remote maintenance. We are one of the first people, and obviously, or they're going to go in that direction. If you're using a Luxpower with a Hana battery, you can maintain or monitor the battery remotely. I'll show you. Uh, so here we're going to go to, this is my personal home and try and believe it or not, I have not got any solar panels. So don't, <laughs> don't knock me. My wife keeps on asking me, why don't we have solar panels? I said, I had to paint the roof first. <laughs> but it's a new house. We've just recently moved in there, so. No, so. And also, I'm glad I waited because the price of panels have come down. Yeah. So, okay, so I've got a power gem there at the moment. So here you can see, it tells you the capacity of the battery. Yeah, you know, you're getting more information than just this here. You know, if you were using any other battery, you're going to get this information. But here with the high now, now you get some extra information here. But here's another cool feature. It shows me the battery itself. Here's the battery information. And if I wanted to see more, I just click there. Now I can see information that you can't get on any other brand. You can see with the Hana, I can tell you what the voltage is, the SOC, the current at the moment, uh, the state of health, the battery cell temperature um, of, of cell one, cell three, 12. So obviously there's, 16 cells in this battery. So it's giving me the thing. And it also tells me the cycle count. How many times this battery has gone from full to 10% and back up to full again, 134 times. <laughs> cool. And look at this. For on this site, I can go to maintenance and you can do this as well as an installer. You can do this. You go to battery updates. I select the station. That's my station there, 12 Galen. And then I select the battery here, which I know is a power gem, like that, boom. And then I can simply click here, battery upgrade, update. It will then fetch the latest version of firmware from our server and update the battery via my machine at home while I'm here in Pretoria. And it'll do the update with the machine still running. It won't interrupt the function of the machine while it's updating. No, no, I don't. I can simply just click that, boom, and it'll update the battery while the system is running normally. The battery will do its update via the Lux Power, uh, and when it's done, uh, it'll continue as normal. So is that, is that possible for all of the range, or is that the power chain? Any, any high now battery. So there's two things you must have. You must have the, the, the dongle that can see the battery, because you must remember the old dongles can't. But the, I've just flashed the whole box of uh, dongles for you guys. So those, that version of firmware on there, if you use it in any one of our models and you use a HANA battery, it can see the battery. You'll be able to do battery updates and you can, you'll have access to all of this. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? So no more going to site with a cable and a laptop and trying to da da da, -da. no, you don't. We don't even need batteries with, with uh, Wi-Fi mod modules on them. 
because we, we do it via this cable and that dongle. They yeah. normally say it won't upgrade battery when there are no issues. Is it true? Yes. I'm not a fan of up updates. I hate them because I've shown you that one site there, the one that's running at 41 megawatts, the one that's running at 118 megawatts already. They, those machines are running on firmware from five years ago. So, exactly. So, you know, there's a, inverters. Yeah, no, 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 no. But I'm going to talk to you about, I'm going to answer your question about the battery updates. A lot of people, there's a culture these days, because we've made the feature available, you must remember, firmware updates on inverters were never available to the public before. Now, all of a sudden that they are available, now everybody calls our call center, can you update my firmware, please? Can you update my, and we ask them, but why do you want to update it? No, because I saw there's new updates available. Now, what's it going to do for you? Is it going to give you more access to Netflix? Is it, what is it going to do for you? What, is there a problem with your machine at the moment? No, then leave it. Now we have guys who have pushed updates that don't particularly work on their old machine. They've pushed it there. Now they phone the calls and do, oh, since I've done this update, this is happening, that is happening. We say, why did you do the update? No, because I saw there were updates available. We tell them, please, updates for, for, for inverters are basically bug fixes. So if you've got a problem with your inverter and then you call us, we'll tell you there's an update, for, there's a fix for that bug. Then you push it. But if it's working, leave it. Don't create problems for yourself. That's my philosophy. Don't create problems. Now let's go to the battery updates. Why would you update a battery? We've seen with battery brands, and I'm not going to exclude ours, because it hasn't happened to us yet, but I'll tell you what the problem is. We get, remember I told you earlier on, I showed you how we get the information, this information here, This information here, right? This information here comes from the from this BMS cable. So now you get another brand, for instance, where the voltage is correct, but the SOC is incorrect. Then today the voltage is 53, like 53.2 and it's 93. Then the guy notices the next day the voltage is 53.2, but now the SOC is 92. Then a day later it's 91, then it's 90 and it's dropping. So we call that SOC drift. I mean, it's a word that we made up in the industry. SOC, now you've got SOC drift. So basically what's happening is the voltage is right, but the, the, the SOC is drifting away. So how do you fix that? With a firmware update. They have to do it a lot, you know, and there are other, some other battery brands that have to do it as well. was another one. Uh, you have to fix it because they're running older versions of firmware and now they've found out they've got a bug fix for it. But now it means that you've got to go to the site with a laptop and a cable and then you don't have the right adapter and the blah, blah, blah is not working. So that's the only time you're going to update the battery firmware is if you've got a problem with the SOC drift or you might have a problem where the sensitivity of the, of the ch charge and discharge limits is too low, then you can adjust it. Like for instance, Dynes did a very big drive with their batteries where they upgraded their, their uh, C rating to a 1C, simply with a firmware update. Okay, so to answer your question, that's when you're going to do that.